Very good evening. Myself, Fani Kumar. I am Director of Business Development Tech Mahindra Africa. I am here with my guest today, my, our distinguished guest, Tula from Standard Bank and Brendan Wilson from CIB Standard Bank. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. It is lovely to have you guys here. So, Tula, uh, uh, let me start with a very uh, smooth question. Uh, why can't you introduce yourself and also talk about the data sciences, future of data sciences in African continent? All right. Thank you very much, um, Fanny. If I am to introduce myself, I'm currently running the data capability for Africa regions, which is really the rest of Africa for the bank. And data is important to us as an organization. We're in banking, we're in retail. So there's a lot of um, uh, disruptive innovation that's taking place in retail banking in particular. And as a bank, we need to keep up. And without the right kind of skill, we'll not be able to do that. Hence the project that we, we have um, commenced with Tech Mahindra, where we're building the data science skills for Africa. We're wanting these guys to go back to their countries and start developing solutions to the disruptive innovation that the fintechs uh, are busy driving in Africa. We're wanting the, the, the tools and the learnings to be applied in how we could drive our strategy. We could better understand our business, our clients, and we could just better the, 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 the outcomes for all the stakeholders. Brendan, how do you think about data science's futures in investment banking world? Thank you, Bonnie. I'm Brendan Wilson, the head of data for the corporate investment bank at Standard Bank. Bonnie, the, you know, as a banking, banks are data-driven organizations. Um, there's, there's many, many uses of the data that we have. Um, but in particular, um, our strategy centers around our client. And the more insights um, which we can gather from the data that we hold um, for and, and of our clients, the, the, better, the better that we can end up serving them. Um, and so, really, to, to put it very, very simply, is our, 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 our strategy is entirely centered around our clients, and we look to the data and data science to help us give insights to better serve those clients. Thank you. Insights. I catch the word insights from it. And uh, uh, Tula, I know you've been the head of insights and customer insight for the rest of Africa. How you see, uh, how you see the vision and completeness for the rest of Africa from data sciences insights? So if we look at, at Africa as a continent, there's a lot of potential. Um, I had an opportunity to engage the teams that attended the UN Data Forum okay. and how they're using the data to better the continent. For instance, they're able to look at just the weather patterns and start advising the farmers on what crops to put when. And that is just groundbreaking and it's all just using data to do so. Again, in banking, we could apply the similar mindset, the similar thinking um, around how we could use data to start driving different ways of doing things, drive efficiencies. If you look at just the retail banking, how do we better segment our clients would depend on the data and the understanding of the clients that uh, we have as an organization. How we price better, how, I mean, you wanting to get to a point where we're able to provide um, services for just one client the segment of one, wanting to get to a point where we're able to get our own clients to put their own offerings together without us having to push the offerings to them. So there is a lot that we could do using the information or the data that you have already in the bank before we even look at the information that we're going to get from outside. So there are, there are a number of use cases that uh, we're pursuing and we're hoping that the program will help us be able to fast track that. Great, I think uh, that's a spot on answer by Tula on the vision and completeness. So Brendan, I would like to see, we have heard Mr. Marule speaking about vision 2063, about Africa and, uh, and how we make the billion people bright and for them his the data is inevitable. Uh, how do you see you, uh, with that vision completeness from your end? Yeah, it's, I think the, the program we, we're running here is, is just a, fantastic and, and tangible example of the spirit of, of Vision 2063 mm -hmm. coming, coming to life. We have 20 young people from nine different countries from the continent, um, all spending three months together in India. Um, 
and really th they will take that knowledge back to, to the continent. Um, they will maintain those networks, they will maintain the partnerships and the relationships that they've built in, in India. Um, and, and we hope that, that that just goes from strength to strength and that they impart much of what they've learned onto their colleagues. Um, and and the, the compounding effect that, that, uh, that um, could potentially come from that is, is amazing. Mm. Great, Brendan. I, I would extend my question a bit. How do you see Tech Mahindra partnership in uh, helping for that vision? Yeah, I think, I mean, look, Tech Mahindra, obviously, it's a, it's a technology giant. Um, its, its footprint um, globally is, is, is second to none. I think, um, but more importantly, and, and from what I've seen since, since I've been here, the, 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 the quality of the facilitators and the, and the lecturers that, that taught the students, um, you know, really kind of p people top of their field, um, but also the, the insights that we've been able to get from the various people from Tech Mahindra in terms of what they're doing with clients around the world and sort of pulling that back into the, into the, the curriculum and, and also giving, giving the graduates a sense of sort of how this stuff applies in the real world has been very, very, very useful. Thank you, Brendan. And as we know, uh, Standard Bank and Tech Mahindra partnered uh, in uh, graduating 20 students across, from across the continent in data sciences. Thula, how do you see the Tech Mahindra and Standard Bank collaboration so far, and what's your feedback for us? Well, from, from what we've done together, it's been a great collaboration. Um, we receive very great, great uh, feedback from, from the graduates, um, especially just around the, the trainers, the technology, the exposure, and I suppose just the understanding that you have as an organization of what's happening out there in the world, because you are out there in the world. I was saying to my colleagues the other day, you know, tech, uh, Mahindra is a company, you're very innovative. Um, the flying car is still just mind-boggling for me. So to partner with an organization that is just so, such, with such vision in terms of innovation, for us is a very big plus. So I have no doubt that the partnership that we have will take both uh, Tech Mahindra and Standard Bank forward. Thank you very much. I, uh, I still keep my mind on that flying far. I still <laughs> see it many times to believe it. <laughs> Fani, if you want to strengthen the relationship, a ride in the flying car for the two of us would go a long way. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I love that, Brendan. Uh, that I think that my, if my CEO is watching this. <laughs> we need a ride. We need a ride. We need Absolutely. a ride. Thank you very much. So thank you, Tula. I, uh, as Tula mentioned, Brendan, we are Standard Bank and Tech Mahindra's partnering in innovation and data and digital worlds. How do you see the next steps for us and for the graduates uh, in data sciences and across the across the different domains? Wow, I think uh, you know there's there's so much opportunity um, looking forward in this in this stuff. I think the the most practical next steps of the graduates will land back in in South Africa, um, and they well, actually in South Africa to start with. They'll spend three months working on on real world business mm -hmm. problems, some of which will be given to them by the business. Others, I hope, is where they've come up with ideas in, in their training and, and start applying those. Um, they will rotate amongst different businesses to get a feel for how the bank works back at home. Um, but then I think the, 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 real, the real exciting part is when they start going back into their home countries mm. um, and where they start showing the, the, the businesses in their home countries what the, the, the opportunities are that exist in the stuff and the, and the power in this data science. Um, and then for me, and, and, and this is probably my the most exciting thing for me, is to watch them reconnecting. Mm. And, and as they come, come back together, to watch how they solve problems that are universal across everything that we do. Um, and so I think for them, the next step is really getting back into the workplace and adding a lot of value. Um, I'm sure that that will be very, very successful. Um, and off the back of that, I would very much like to see a continuation of this partnership as we, as we have it. Thank you very much, Brendan. And we'll continue to rise and we continue to partner with you. Thank you very much for that opportunity to, to Tech Mahindra. Thula, uh, as my last, uh, and this is my favorite question, and, and that's the tenant of Mahindra, rise. Mm -hmm. So how do you see our, your, uh, ourselves rising together as alternate thinking, accepting no limits, and also the completeness of vision of 2063? Wow. So we rise. If, if you look at data science, it's an emerging skill. It's a skill that is still scarce. It's a skill that everyone is trying to build, is looking for. So we're rising to the challenge of building the skills together. 
We are developing the graduates, we are developing those that already work for the bank to get to a point where they become data scientists. To me, that is rising. Um, we're giving them the new lo knowledge and the new understanding for them now to start building and developing better things and to drive the bank into the next level. And I have no doubt that as, as Tech Mahendra is training our, our, our grads, um, we also be learning from that. So in a way, you'll also be rising. Great. I think, uh, thank you very much for your time. And it's a pleasure having you. And we look forward to serving you better. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you, Fanny. Thank you, Fanny.